Magandang araw mga ka-forever! Maulan man o maaraw, andito lang kami for all of you. Wishing na sana forever na ito. Kaya steady lang kayo dyan as we provide you with updated weather information and relevant science and technology news. Kaya nood lang, hatakin ang mga pamilya at kaibigan. Maki-online na, hawak kaway tayo o hawak kamay tayo mga ka-forever. Ako po si Jal Miranda, ang inyong bagong ka-online, ka-forever, ka-twitter at ka-weather host for the day. We welcome you to DOS TV, the Filipino Weather Channel, your newest and most comprehensive real-time authority on the latest weather updates. Dahil weather lang ang laging nandyan, tag-araw man o tag-ulan, hindi nang iiwan kahit sino ka man. Remember that folks, it's DOS TV, reporting live from Pag-asa Weather and Flood Forecasting Center. Ang DOS TV ay mapapanood ninyo Mondays to Fridays, 11am to 12 noon. Dito lang sa www.dostv.ph. And for today's episode, we will get to know more about PJS or the oldest scientific journal in the Philippines. Plus, meron pala tayong agency dito sa Pilipinas delving on nuclear science. Pwede kaya tayo maging isang nuclear power na bansa? Alamin natin yan sa ating mga guest. And of course, for the lighter side of things, andyan yung laging trending na what's the weather with you? Kaya kayo dyan mga ka-forever, humugot na at mag-tweet o di kaya ay mag-FB. Todo emote na. And to start things rolling, heto ng ating pag-asa correspondent, Mr. Benison Estareja. Mr. Benison, kumusta ang magiging lagay ng panahon? Thank you, Ms. Jel. Good morning sa iyo at good morning din sa ating mga viewers ng DOS TV. At para naman sa magiging lagay ng panahon natin ngayong araw ng Huwebes, ay unti-unti pa rin humihina po ang southwest monsoon or hanging habagat sa ating bansa at dito na lamang sa may extreme northern Luzon nito nakaka-apekto. So ibig sabihin po sa malaking bahagi ng bansa ay asahan pa rin natin ang bahagyang maulap na kalangitan sa umaga and pagdating nga po ng tanghali magiging mainit pa rin at maalinsangan yung ating mararanasan. And then pagdating po ng hapon hanggang sa gabi ay posible po yung mga isolated cases ng rain showers or thunderstorms. Dumako muna tayo sa ating latest satellite image ngayong umaga. Kung mapapansin po natin sa may northern Luzon at maging sa central Luzon and dito sa Metro Manila, ay maaraw naman po at uh, maliwalas ang panahon ngayong umaga. So ibig sabihin po niya, pagdating ng tanghali, magiging mainit pa rin at malinsangan sa malaking bahagi ng northern and central Luzon. Pero pagdating po ng hapon o gabi, ay posible na sa buong Luzon ay magkaroon tayo ng mga kaulapan at magkaroon din ng mga isolated rain showers or thunderstorms na hindi naman po nagtatagal ng dalawang oras. Ang temperature po natin sa Metro Manila ay 25 hanggang 35 degrees Celsius. Dito po sa Baguio, medyo malamig pa rin. 17 hanggang 26 degrees Celsius. Sa Tagaytay naman, 22 hanggang 29 degrees. At habang sa Puerto Princesa sa Palawan naman ay 26 hanggang 32 degrees Celsius. Dumako naman tayo dito sa may parting Visayas. Kung mapapansin po natin, may nabubuong mga kaulapan dito sa may Sulu Sea at maging sa may West Philippine Sea and Bohol Sea. Epekto po yan ng convergence or pagsasalubungan ng mga hangin. Kaya kung tendency niyan, may nabubuong mga kaulapan at mga isolated cases of thunderstorms. Pero pagdating po ng uh, tanghali, posible na maging bahagyang maulap naman yung ating kalangitan dyan. At sa hapon o gabi naman, eh, asahan pa rin po natin o mas malaki na ang tsansa ng mga pagulan o pagkidlat, pagkulo. Ang temperature po natin sa Iloilo and Bacolod is 25 to 33 degrees Celsius. Ganyan din po sa Metro Cebu, 25 hanggang 33 degrees Celsius. Dumako naman tayo dito sa may parting Mindanao. Medyo maulap na po dito sa may parting Sambuanga Peninsula and ARMM. Pero saan po natin na hindi naman ito magtatagal pagdating pa rin ng tanghali. Ay posibleng buong Mindanao is bagyang maulap na lamang ang kalangitan at pagdating pa rin ng hapon hanggang sa gabi at minsan sa madaling araw ay posible pa rin ang mga rain showers or thunderstorms. Ang temperature po natin sa Metro Davao 25 hanggang 33 degrees Celsius. Habang sa Sambuanga naman, 24 hanggang 34 degrees Celsius. Kung mapapansin po natin sa ating satellite image, wala naman tayong nakikita ang mga sirkulasyon, mga low pressure area man or bagyo sa loob ng ating Philippine Area of Responsibility. And kung mapapansin po natin, is wala naman tayong gale warning, banayad ang katamtaman ng ating mga karagatan, pero minsan po magiging maalan din dito sa may norte dahil nga po sa epekto ng southwest monsoon. Yan muna latest mula dito sa Weather Forecasting Center ng Pag-asa DOST 
Ako po si Benison Estareja, reporting for DOS TV. And here's Mr. Richard Orendain for the Dam Water Level Report. Dito lang yan sa DOS TV Exclusive. Yes, Jel, uh, maraming salamat at uh, magandang umaga sa inyo lahat. Uh, latest update po tayo uh, dito sa minomonitor nating mga dams dito sa Luzon. Uh, umpisan po natin dito sa Anggap Dam. Uh, patuloy pa rin yung uh, pagbaba ng elevation ng ating uh, dam dito sa Anggat at sa kasalukuyan, ang current elevation niya is 182.13 bumaba po siya ng 23 cm uh, simula po yan kaninang uh, kahapon ng alas 6 ng umaga hanggang kaninang alas 6 ng umaga ngayon so dito naman sa Pantabangan Dam ganun din po uh, bumababa rin po siya at ang current elevation niya is 191.09 bumaba po siya ng 16 cm uh, mula po yan kahapon hanggang ngayon uh, observation and then yung San Roque Dam po ganun din uh, ang current elevation niya is 235.38 meters bumaba rin po siya ng uh, kalahating metro so patunay po na hindi gaanong maulan doon sa watershed ng Uh, San Roque Dam dahil napakalaki ng ibinaba niya. And then, dito po sa Magat Dam, uh, ganun din, tuloy-tuloy uh, yung pagbaba niya. Kumbaga, isang linggo na po itong uh, bumababa. So, ang current elevation niya ngayon is 185.06 at bumaba po siya ng mahigit kalating metro or 53 centimeter po ang binaba niya. Mula po yung kahapon ng uh, alas 6 hanggang po ngayon ng alas 6 ng umaga. So, sa ating kaalaman po uh, tungkol sa mga dams, ang pinakamalaki po base sa uh, drainage area or yung watershed, pinakamalaki po itong Magat Dam, which is 4,143 square kilometer po yung laki ng catch basin niya. Kaya lang po yung... Uh, capacity niya medyo maliit. Uh, katunayan, kung 190 meters yung elevation ng Magat Dam, ang capacity lang niya is 717 uh, millions of cubic meter. Yun lang ang laman. Samantalang ikumpara natin sa Pantabangan, na 916 ang uh, drainage area niya or yung watershed area, ang capacity niya is 1,978 millions of cubic meter. So, kung ikukumpara natin yung dalawa, kahit malakas sa mga pagulan within Pantabangan area, the same ng uh, lakas ng ulan within Magat Dam, mas madaling mapuno ang Magat Dam dahil yung reservoir niya is maliit. Samantalang ang Pantabangan, mas malaki yung reservoir niya. So, yun lang po at uh, maraming salamat. Mula pa rin dito sa Pag-asa Flood Forecasting Center, Richard Orendain. Ano kaya mga bagong proyekto ang hatid ng DOST para sa mamamayang Pilipino? Alamin dito sa DOS-TV Flash Report. Ang Metals Industry Research and Development Center o MIRDC, isang sangay ng Department of Science and Technology, ay nakagawa na ng isang makinaryang makakatulong sa industriya ng metal craft na tinatawag na Computer Numerical Control or CNC Plasma Cutter na binansagang Plasma Noy gamit ang makabagong CNC Plasma Cutting System. Ang CNC Plasma Cutter o Plasma Noy 
ay kaya makaputol at makaukit ng iba't ibang uri ng metal na may iba't ibang kapal gamit ang computer kung saan nagtataglay ito ng tinatawag na toolpath instructions at ang disenyo. Ang CNC plasma cutting machine na ito ay gumagalaw sa X, Y at Z axis. Ang X axis ay gumagalaw ng horizontal mula kaliwa patungo sa kanan. Ang Y axis naman ay tumatakbo ng back and forth gamit ang dalawang servo motors. At ang Z axis naman ay gumagalaw ng pataas at pababa na kinokontrol ng isang torch high compensator or THC system. Ang teknolohiyang plasma cutting ay gumagamit ng superheated air para makaputol ng metal. Ang plasma ay napakainit na kaya makaputol ng mga yero, bakal at iba't ibang uri ng metal na ginagawang mga gamit sa konstruksyon, palamuti sa bahay at samot-saring bagay na ginagamit natin sa pang-araw-araw na buhay. Nabubutas ba ang bulsa mo sa patuloy na pagtaas ng halaga ng gas na gamit mo sa pagluluto? Huwag nang malungkot o mabuisit dahil meron ng nagawa ang Industrial Technology Development Institute o ITDI ng Department of Science and Technology na isang portable biodigester. Ang biodigester na ito ay gumagamit ng pangkaraniwang basura galing sa kusina tulad ng mga balat ng prutas, bulok na gulay at iba pang patapon ng natirang pagkain bilang gas na panggatong. Ang sistemang nagawa ng ITDI na portable biodigester ay may airtight system na ginagamitan ng organikong mga materyales kung saan ang proseso ng pagkabulok ay nagdudulot ng tinatawag na biogas. Maraming benepisyo ang portable biodigester na ito. Maaaring magamit sa pagluluto sa bahay, maayos na waste management, makakabawa sa surface at groundwater contamination, mababawasan ng greenhouse emission, at magagamit ang sludge nito bilang soil conditioner na makakatulong sa pagpapalusog sa mga pananim. Philippine Journal of Science is the oldest scientific journal in the Philippines. It was first published in 1906. For over a century, ang PJS ang nagsilbing Biblia, diary at notekeeper ng anything and everything about science in the country. And to discuss more about PJS, we have a distinguished guest for today. She finished her BS degree in biology, major in cell biology, from the University of the Philippines, Los Baños, and obtained her Master of Technology Management at the University of the Philippines, Diliman, as a DOST scholar. Moreover, she briefly served as researcher for the National Institute of Molecular Biology and Biotechnology in UPLB soon after her college graduation working on protein enhancement of animal feeds. Upon her assumption as, as managing editor, the Philippine Journal of Science was elevated into Thomson Reuters status in 2005. Mga ka forever, I welcome, I welcome po natin ang managing editor of the Philippine Journal of Science, Miss Maria Judith Lagarde Sablan. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, Jess. Good morning, Good morning sa ating mga ka forever. Yes, ayan, forever. But, ang PJS, okay, pag-usapan natin ma'am, ang PJS. So, kailan ito nagsimula, kailan nagsimula mag-publish? Uh, ang PJS or Philippine Journal of mm -hmm. Science was first published in 1906 during the uh, then uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So definitely, noong 1906, napakatagal na pala, di ba? Imagine, 1906, parang sino, pa, sino, sino na mabuhay noon? Parang wala pa yung World War II, eh, di ba? Ando na pala. So anong konsepto nito? Bakit talaga ito nabuo? Um, well, during the Amer American period, the... Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Okay. The, the Philippine Journal of Science was a venue for uh, reporting... Uh, accounts of the of the studies in the country, mostly on the flora and fauna mm -hmm. in the country, in mm -hmm. the Philippines. Mm -hmm. So, uh, the purpose of the PJS is to provide, now, the purpose of the PJS is to provide, provide venue for our local scientists and researchers to mm -hmm. publish their 
their the results of their researches. Mm -mm -mm. You see, scientific publication is very important because it is a gauge uh, in measuring the scientific productivity of a country. Okay. In fact, it is used by the World Economic Forum as a as one of the pillars in measuring the competitive global competitive competitive index of the mm -hmm. country. Luckily for us, uh, Philippines improved uh, global competitiveness from ranked 52 in in 2014. Now we are ranked 47. So through the PJS, sana may encourage natin ang ating mga scientists, mm -hmm. especially uh, Filipinos, to ma-imbibe nila uh -huh. ang culture of, uh, of scientific publication because mm -hmm. Compared to our ASEAN neighbors like Singapore or Malaysia, uh, who averages scientific public publication like Singapore, like ten to ten thousand a year, mm -hmm. we are way way below. Mm -hmm. We are publishing uh, less than a thousand a year. Less so, sana may encourage natin ang mga local, uh, ang mga local scientists really to publish and mm -mm. one of the venues is through the PJS. Ayun. Pero eto ma, meron ba tayong ka-partner na agency para dito? Well, PJS is PJS is uh, managed by the Science and Technology Information Institute mm -mm. or STII under the Department of Science mm -hmm. and, and Technology. Okay. So, basically, this is subsidized by the government mm -mm. and and authors unlike other and others, unlike other journals, mm -hmm. where they pay page charges. Okay. In the Philippines, in the PJS, it's totally free. They don't have to pay any single centavo in publishing their uh, articles. Okay. Yes. So, yung mag, ato, ano ba to ma? Magazine type ba ito? Journal po ma. Journal talaga. Yes. Oh, oh. The, na the nature of the of mm -hmm. journal publication mm -hmm. is that. When you publish your research, your research, for instance, in the pages, you cannot publish anywhere else in the world. Okay. So, you mean... Exclusive same, na to. Yes. In the Correct. same way na pag na-publish na yung, yung article mo in other journals mm -hmm. abroad, hindi mo na pwede siyang isubmit sa iba. Sa iba. Oo. Oh, oh. So, yung sinasabing yung ma'am na ranking, ano ba to? All over the world or sa Asia lang? That's world globe in competitive in Talaga? Yes. Oh, oh. Mm -mm. But... But scientific publication is only one of the 12 pillars. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Pero regularly, yung publication niyo, o yung pinapa, pag nagpa-publish kayo, gaano kadalas? Well, through the years, because you, you Monthly see, or... Because you see, PJS now, this year, celebrates its 110th year. Mm -hmm. Because it was first published in 1906. So, uh, it evolved mm -hmm. from... The maiden issue that that came out in 1906 include 54 articles plus 11 supplement articles on botany. Mm -hmm. But due to, due to several transitions uh, in the management, we also have mm -hmm. changes. Okay. It came out four issues a year, and now we are. Then we pub we are publishing two issues per year, but this year we are target we are targeting targeting four issues again. Four issues a year. A year. So parang naging ano yon average nyo yon. Plus, uh, probably we we might came up with one special issue on forensics this year. Mm -mm. So sa publishing house, masasabi natin na house talaga, eh, no? gano'n kayo karami, ma'am? O paano yung contribution ng articles? Or from different or scientists, anyone can contribute to the PJS? Uh, the PJS is uh, actually the work. As I from the administrative side, the policy is governed by the, by the mm -mm. editorial board. Okay. The editorial board is composed of leading scientists and experts mm -hmm. all over the Philippines in, in, as well as in uh, abroad mm -mm. but this uh, but this editor do not do not necessarily do not necessarily have to be to to report to the office okay every day except for us in okay. the 
uh, the editorial staff. Mm -hmm. As a managing editor, so I, mm -mm. I, the nature of the journal is that when uh, when an author submits a uh, an article for potential publication, we the editorial editor in chief will screen it and will will refer it will refer it for review or okay. evaluation to the co competent mm -hmm. reviewer. Mm -hmm. So, ganun siya na filter talaga? Yes. Mm -hmm. We employ in the PJS a rigorous peer review uh -oh. process. Uh -oh. So, ganun ka kailangan kasi bago mo ma-publish, eh, diba? ganun ka kailangan masala natin. Since tayo talaga nang bibigay ng information sa public, hindi pwedeng basta-basta. Ganun, di ba, ma'am? Mm -hmm. Is yes, this for me ba? Yes. As I mentioned earlier, <laughs> uh, as an author, as an author, uh, when you want to publish an article for the PJS, uh, so libre po, libre po. As long as you can, as long as we require, we require uh, the authors to submit a statement that the article is original. Mm -hmm. So basically, the are all the articles in the PJS and and in any other journal in that case are unique and original mm -hmm. kasi kung mm -hmm. saan mo lang sa saan mo lang isang beses mo lang siya pwedeng i-publish yes Oo. so halimbawa ang publiko eto ma'am pwede kaming kumuha or i-avail namin to once na na-distribute niya na yung journal uh, in in terms of subscription mm -hmm. they may subscribe to the PJS for yun ang may bayad yun ay may bayad yes mm -hmm. but for the authors, walang bayad yung pagpag-publish. Mm, yes, uh -oh. mm, okay. They can get a copy. Uh, they through our through the editorial office uh, at STII mm -hmm. DOST in Bikutan, or they can visit our website at Philippine Journal uh, Phil Journal site.dost.gov.ph. Ayon. Balikan lang natin, ma'am, since nag-start ang PJS, kung maalala nyo, ano ba talaga yung uh, unang na-publish? Ano yung pinaka-content or concept nun? A perusal of the uh, old articles in the PJS would reveal uh, several ethnological and anthropological articles, uh, which means an account of uh, a study on human behavior. So many of the articles provide an account of the of the culture of the Filipino tribes. In fact, one of the articles written by Smith. Uh, provides a study on the human sacrifice mm -hmm. by the mm -hmm. Bagobos. Mm -hmm. When a boy was uh, sacrificed, mm -hmm. this tribe, this tribe, it is, they consider it not morally, morally wrong, but mm -hmm. it, 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 it is for religious, religious, uh, religious norm. Mm -hmm. And also, there are several articles na na first in the field of taxonomy and botany. Kasi you see, uh, Philippines is considered as rich in biodiversity. Yes. So, karamihan sa mga arti sa mga even up to this day remain the articles published in the old times remain an authoritative reference up to this day. Lalo na yung mga mga Articles sa uh, systematics and taxonomy, which uh, are the first identification of endemic and flora and fauna. Ayun. Since 1906, nagsimula ang PGS, meron na bang recognition uh, from those articles na nakapaloob dito? Uh, meron na ba tayong award na na-receive from abroad siguro? Not for the journal. The, there is no... About the article? Uh, there is no... Uh, recognition body mm -hmm. that pro gives award to journals but uh, marami sa mga articles mm -hmm. na na-publish sa ating sa PJS ang nag, na nabigyan na, na pagkilala, na pagkilala mm -hmm. both locally and abroad but in terms of the journal ang ang recognition na masasabi is uh, inclusion in the Thomson Reuters which yes. was formerly ISI mm -hmm. and some international uh, indexing and 
abstracting services like Iscopus by Elsevier and Google Scholar. Mm -hmm. okay. So yun, um, ang target namin, di, hopefully, may, may include tayo sa Web of Science kasi nakapaloob ang PJS sa zoological records ng Thomson Reuters. Mm -hmm. Pero anong field ng science ang pinaka-focus ninyo? Uh, ang advantage in publishing in the Philippine Journal of Science is because we cover uh, we cover a lot of fields, both natural and applied sciences, geology, mathematics, computer science, unlike other journals that are highly specialized, like kung ito ay para lang sa crop science, crop science, or, or sa nursing, mm -hmm. ganun. So, in, in, case, uh, in the case of PGS, Covered, covered lahat, lahat even psychology, mathematics, and social sciences. Ah, so, yun ang maganda, di ba? Parang, uh, kumbaga, ito na, lahat nandito na parang buffet lang, di ba, ma'am? Yes. <laughs> so, makikita mo na lahat, mamimili ka na lang kung anong gusto mong topic or yes. any So, yun ang na ating service. Yes, mm -hmm. ma'am. Yun ang ating services sa DUST, sa ating mga local scientists, and even abroad. Uh, because ang mga mm -hmm. authors ng pages ay hindi lang... Filipino scientist. So, ah, okay. yun ang ating services mm -hmm. para ma-encourage ma, ma sila mag-publish kung hindi man hindi man sila maka maka-select ng ibang mm -hmm. journal sa kanilang field. So, mm -hmm. covered pa rin ng PJS. Mm -hmm. And as I mentioned, wala silang babayaran na page mm -hmm. charges. Yung mga binanggit nyo kanina, ma'am, na nagko-contribute ng articles nila, not necessarily they have to be a scientist or even a student pwedeng mag-submit ng kanilang article sa PJS. Ang mga ang mga papers or research studies sa sa PJS or sa lahat ng journal ay syempre uh, kailangan ay bungan ng our output ng research. So, okay. hindi ka naman makakapag-research kung hindi ka naman researcher. Okay. So, but mo but some are masters or PhD students. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. So, you all... lalo na ngayon na sa ibang university nire-require ang ating mga MS and PhD students na mag-publish talaga ng paper. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Na yun naman ang nakaugalian sa ibang bansa. Okay, kasi meron sa mga schools, meron silang tinatawag na uh, meron silang mga sariling newspaper eh, may focus about science. So doon, pwede na yon. O tumutulong din kayo about um, contributing dun sa mga school papers? Dahil ang PGS ay under Science and Technology Information Institute ng DOST, which is the information arm of the agency, meron din kaming mga popular magazines mm -hmm. or we also publish other newsletters, science newsletters and bulletins. Kasi ang PGS, ang nature niyan ay talagang uh, scientific journal. Okay. So, kung if they are scientists or researcher want their research output to be popularized, nandun na kakatulong yung STII. Kasi mm -hmm. meron din kaming unit na in charge sa popularizing scientific output. Meron na bang instances na parang sabi nga, eh, nag, parang nagbuwis buhay na para na makakuha ng vital information na about uh, the journal from PGS? Sa, PG, sa nagbuwis buhay sa uh -oh. PG, for the PGS per se, wala uh -oh. naman. Wala naman. But <laughs> Ang hirap naman nun, no? <laughs> yes, but a, lot of our, but a lot of our scientists and researchers are risk their lives mm -hmm. to get information. In fact, meron ako na ako sa last year, November na, Ang team nila uh, dahil dahil syempre nagpunta sila sa isang isang kabundukan na may na may tribe. Mm -hmm. So yung isa hindi daw yun yung sinik nila ng as 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 given by the law na kailangan ka mag magsik ng permission. Mm -hmm. So hindi daw yun ang ang sinasabi ng isang grupo na hindi dapat doon kumuha ng permit kasi sila ang totoong tribal captain. So, okay. they were, they gave one cow or uh -huh. isang buong baka tapos bawat researcher kailangan magbigay ng 5,000. So, parang may pain pa sila? Ganun ba yun, ma? Pa <laughs> oh, At one, 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 one um, isa sa pinaka, ano, 
controversial na masasabi na namatay ni The Line of Duty our leading botanist also si Dr. Leonard ko na napagkamalan siya sa mountains ng summer na ano Pero na vista? hindi naman be, belong to the uh, terrorist uh, group not really <laughs> <laughs> uh, para na na excited ako sa mga ano yes. eh abang-abang eh di ba mm. okay so para ito you para alam mo yung mga journalist sa Philippines talaga na ang hirap ng trabaho nila no at the same thing akala natin yung mga ganitong klase eh madali lang di ba so ito para talaga meron din nga pag pagbubuwis buhay masasabi mm -hmm. so anyway um eto ma'am kayo ba nagte-train din kayo sa mga let's say sa mga students para maging uh, researchers uh, we occasionally provide uh, mm -hmm. training and workshop okay. para ma para maturuan ang ating mga faculty researchers ng ng scientific writing. Mm -hmm. So sa buong bansa yan ginaga ginaganap sa iba't ibang uh, research institutions and state colleges and mm -hmm. universities. Kasi nga, hindi pa na-imbibe sa atin ang kultura ng scientific publication. Yes. Parang na, hindi, uh, actually, ang scientific publication is part of the research process, okay. research flow. Mm -mm. Kundi ang ating mga researchers ay nagkasya uh, na lang doon hanggang sa, hanggang sa paggawa ng terminal report. Hindi na nila nakoconvert ang, scientific, ang research output nila into publishable form. Mm -hmm. Oo nga, no? para nagiging, kumbaga naiimbak na lang sa shelf siguro yung kanilang mga research. Yes. Hindi na na-i-imply. Totoo yan. Oo. Totoo yan. Oo. Sayang naman, di ba? So, sana through the PJS, may encourage sila na uh -huh. mag-publish. Mm -hmm. As a managing editor, alam namin na hindi biro ang inyong uh, trabaho. Ano yung masasabi niyong uh, pinaka-challenging experience siguro? O mahirap? Exciting na experience? Marami. <laughs> Marami. Siyempre, matagal-tagal na rin tayo sa... PJS nagsiserve. So, marami. Ang our role sa editorial is that to serve as gatekeepers of the authors and the reviewers. Kasi, we employ blind review. Ibig sabihin, yung author, hindi nila alam kung sino ang nag evaluate ng paper nila. At the same manner, yung reviewer, hindi nila alam kung sino ang nagsulat ng paper, mm -hmm. ng article. So, nire-review yan. Depende sa field, kung sino ang competent na reviewer, na expert dyan sa field na yan, doon natin ipapadala. So, there was a case na... Uh, as a gatekeeper, mm -hmm. ma mabuti na ipadala natin for review yung paper doon sa Germany and nagkataon yung enzyme pala na ginamit ng Filipino researcher mm -hmm. ay pag-aari ng German Insti Research Institute. Hindi siya nag-seek nag ng approval for the use. Bali, mm -hmm. doon siya nag-postdoc at dinala niya dito ang enzyme, ginamit niya sa kanyang research study without seeking appro prior approval to the, from the German Research Institute. Uh -huh. So, mabuti tayo ay prior pa na mapublish yan sa atin na, sa atin na pa evaluate So, na, na, na iwasan natin ang possible uh, repercussion ng mga ganyang bagay. Uh -huh. meron, ding, meron ding instance na ang isang researcher ay pinatay niya yung mga frogs na endemic. Ang policy pala niyan ay dapat, dahil endemic siya, sa, lalo na sa Pilipinas, at rare na, ibig sabihin, hindi kakaunti na, paubos mm -hmm. na, so dapat hindi pinapatay, kundi kukunin lang yung ano, isang party para mapag-aralan ang kanyang DNA. <laughs> Sorry ma'am, natitense tuloy ako sa palaka. Kaya usually kasi pag umuulan, marami pa ako naririnig na kumukokak eh. <laughs> Kaya pala nababawasan ang mga palaka. Marami tayong experience. Oh. So, yun ang pinaka, yun ang importante oh, oh. talaga sa atin, sa amin, sa editorial, na nagiging gatekeeper tayo okay. ng mga ganyan. Kasi, mm -hmm. you see, the public perception, the, the public perception dapat sa science ay ma-maintain ang integrity ng science. Kung yan, ang mga bagay-bagay na ganyan ay makalusot, uh -huh. ay ma matitain ang ang reputasyon ng science Ayun. sa public. Eh, syempre, so, sama, paano sa mga schools, di ba? Yung usually, mga ina-examine nila doon. Kaya, May control din kayo doon? 
Ah, wala na tayo, wala syempre. Na, syempre. But, but that's why, uh-huh. yung ating, lalo na sa mga research institute, uh-huh. ay ini-encourage natin na magka o bumuo sila ng ethics committee. Uh-huh. Research and ethics committee. Kasi hindi pa lahat yan naging policy sa mga research institution. So, yan ang ating in-encourage kasi bago pa ikandak ang research study, meron na, na-review na doon mismo sa kanilang institusyon. Ayun. Anyway, napakarami pa nating gusto ng pag-usapan about PJS. Ano pang uh, abangan natin? What's in, what's in store for PJS? As a managing editor, ano pang makikita natin siguro for the future to five years from now? Ano na ang uh, PJS? Exciting ngayong taong to mm-hmm. kasi we, sel- we, sel- we are celebrating the 110th anniversary of the journal. So, the PJS is a manifestation of sheer endurance, resilience, and evolution of scientific public research publication in the country. So, talagang kung may pagkakataon kayo, kahit na estudyante, magandang makapagbasa kayo ng article sa PJS ay uh, na ma very rich or mayaman ang ang PJS hindi lang sa pure science but meron din tayong mga accounts ng kultu- culture, gold mining, geological geological studies na sana napahalagahan at na at na na considera mm-hmm. na lalo na ng mga policy making kasi naiwasan sana or makapag makatulong sa decision making sa ating bansa. Mm-hmm. So sa ngayon, we we, celeb- we are celebrating 110th anniversary at sa darating na National Science and Technology Week sa July ay magkakameron din kami ng munting exhibit at we are also working out at uh, exhibit at Ayala Museum kung hindi man mata kasi kung gipit na sa oras hindi man ngayong taon mm-hmm. ay possibly early next year. Ayun. So Uh, and also naman. sa ating mga researchers sa SUCs also at research institutes mm-hmm. sana ma- magkameron sila ng time mm-hmm. na may sulat ang kanilang research output at may publish kung hindi man sa PJS sa sa uh, sa nararapat or sa fit na journal na kanila depende sa kanilang field ayun any final uh, words that sa ating mga televiewers baka mayroong gusto mag-avail man nitong uh, PJS mga journal saan po sila pwedeng pumunta okay sa mga author sa mga sa mga researchers na na interesado na mag-publish ng kanilang research output Uh, bukas pong aming tanggapan, Philippine Journal of Science sa Science and Technology Information Institute sa DUST Complex sa Bikutan, Taguig City. O pwede rin po ninyong, is- hindi na po ninyo kailangan mag-submit ng hard copy. You can email your articles. You just have to follow the author's guide through our website, uh, philjournalsci at dust.gov.ph. Thank you so much, ma'am. Ayan, and good luck. Maraming salamat. Diba? Uh, Maraming pang, ano, siguro, ngayon, mas naging bukas na yung ating mga kababayan. Baka bigla, marami na mag, ano, tumawag sa inyo at mag-submit ng kanilang articles. Hindi ba? More power sa inyo. Maraming salamat. And uh, looking forward tayo sa projects pa, upcoming projects from your office. Thank Maraming you. Salamat. Ayan, mga kaibigan, kasama natin si Miss Judith. Di ba, napaka-historical pala at napaka-epic ang pinagdaanan ng PJS. And it's nice to know na meron tayo nito sa ating bansa na nagsisilbing saksi sa mga important scientific news or events ng bansa natin. Eto na mga ka-forever! Emote time na naman tayo! Kahit maulan man o maaraw sa labas, hindi mapipigilan ang dyan ng ating mga social media friends sa kanilang mga hugot panahon. Ano kaya ang mga latest na tweets, status, photos, or blogs nila? Eto na mga ka-forever ang What's the Weather with You? Mula kay Romeli Maranan. Sa sobrang init ng pagmamahal ko sa iyo, mahihiya si El Nino at Sunblock SPF 500 sa tindi nito. Wow! Sobrang in love si Roms, di ba? Obvious na obvious. Napakapalad ng boyfriend ni Romeli kung ganyan nga naman magmahal ang girlfriend mo talaga mo. <laughs> hindi hindi mo ano yung pagpapalit o iiwan, di ba? Happy graduation, be! <laughs> anyway, mula naman tayo kay Fudge Tahar. 
Ngayong tagulan, marami na namang nagpapadala ng message na stay safe. Mas makubuting mag-reply ng stay safe mo mukha mo. <laughs> Sobra. Si, si Fudge. Fudge. Ayan, girl si Fudge. Okay? Siguro ano na lang, mas maganda kung hindi na tayo ang palaya. Bitter much eh, diba te? Time to move on na kapag kung ayaw niya, wag niya. Parang ganun na lang siguro yung pag natin. Kung ayaw mo, wag mo. Humanap ka na lang iba. Una-una, girl ka. So, mas maganda. Hintayin mo or maghintay ka o maghanap ka na rin siguro ng ibang partner. Next naman, mula tayo sa ating mga Twitter friends. Mula kay CJ Valerio. <laughs> Gustong gusto kita. Pero para tayong El Nino at La Nina. Hindi pwede magsama. O, di ba? Si ano, si CJ, kasi medyo trending yun, di ba? <laughs> Sabi nga ni, ano, Miss, ano ba to? Sa Miss Earth, if we don't start now, or if we will start now, we will achieve La Nina. Di ba? Kung ayaw ni La Nina, hanap ka na lang ng iba, baka meron pang ibang, uh, ano pa ba, La Nina, o baka hanap ka na lang ibang El Nino. Sige. <laughs> Ilan lamang po yan sa mga hugot panahon na aming nakalat sa Facebook. Winner ang mga hugot natin ngayon. Bukas, mas masaya at mas exciting. Kaya kung may mga hugot panahon pa kayo dyan, i-post lang sa FB or mag-tweet na mga greatest emote moments ninyo sa hashtag hugot panahon. Mali ninyo next time yung mga kahugot-hugot tweets niya naman ang may feature namin. Samantala, alamin kung ano ang role ng NRCC or National Research Council of the Philippines sa National Development. Panoorin ang video na ito. come so far, but we are standing on the shoulders of giants. Those who have asked the basic questions and have made startling discoveries that are now the cornerstone of modern technology. are in harmony with the Department of Science and Technology's priority outcomes.
NRCP also helps shape public policy via recommendations and advisories largely based on results of funded and monitored researches. Moreover, the Council is committed to cultivate the culture of science among the people through its various activities. From the field to the lab, from the lab to the people, MRCP, strengthening the foundation of science and technology in the country. Kapag nababanggit ang term na nuclear science, ang laging pumapasok sa isip natin ay ang atomic bomb o di kaya ay yung Hiroshima bombing. Pero alam nyo ba na may benefits din naman pala ang nuclear science at pati ang bansa natin ay involved na rin sa usaping ito. As a matter of fact, merong office ang DOST na solely devoted to this area of study at ito ay ang PNRI o ang Philippine Nuclear Research Institute. To give us more information about this, we have a special guest for today. She is a radiation chemist. Her areas of specialization and research include radiation chemistry of biomolecules and natural polymers, radiation processing and environmental chemistry. She was conferred the rank of career scientist for the highest rank so far conferred to a Filipino scientist under the scientific career system. Currently, our guest for today is the director of the PNRI, the National Authority on Nuclear Matters, tasked to promote and regulate the peaceful uses of nuclear energy in the country. Mga ka forever, please welcome Dr. Alumanda M. De La Rosa. Good morning, Doc. Good morning, Jel. Good At sa morning. ating mga nanonood, mm. ka forever. Yes. <laughs> Marami na kasabay-bay sa atin, ma'am. Siyempre, from PNRI, talaga nakaabang na sila dito, di ba? PNRI, di ba? Sa introduction pa lang, ang dami niya na pa lang, ano, kumbaga, uh, history way back about nuclear, etc. Pero bago ang lahat, paano nasimulan o nabuo ang PNRI? Uh, let me give a brief uh, introduction sa global stage. Uh, okay. Noong 1955, uh, President uh, Dwight Eisenhower uh, proposed uh, a project uh, called Atoms for Peace mm -hmm. sa United Nations. And ang proposal niya is to establish uh, an international agency mm -hmm. under the UN system. And so, uh, two years after na establish yung uh, International Atomic Energy Agency, okay. mm -mm. Yung Philippines became a member ng uh, IAEA uh, in 1958 uh, and uh, kailangan ng uh, country uh, for a specialized agency to take care that uh, the Filipinos will uh, 
uh, harness mm -hmm. the peaceful uses of uh, nuclear energy, uh, use nuclear energy safely, and also that nuclear energy will not be diverted mm -hmm. to non-peaceful uses. Mm -hmm. So um, then uh, Senator uh, Pelaez crafted the law, Young Science Act, of uh, 1958 okay. and this created the uh, Philippine Atomic Energy Commission, uh, the predecessor mm -hmm. of PNRI, as well as the National Science Development Board, yung predecessor din ng uh, Department of Science and mm -hmm. Technology. So this agency, uh, now the PNRI, is charged uh, to take care that we harness the peaceful uses of nuclear energy we use nuclear energy safely, and also that we use only for peaceful purposes. Ayun. Di ba ma'am, sabi nga natin, pagka sinabi kasing nuclear, bomba, atomic bomb, di ba? Sabi nga ganun, laging isipan natin Oo. eh. So ito, nakiklear nyo ba? Uh, napakahirap mm -hmm. pa na i-explain i ito, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, the PNRI tries to uh, promote the peaceful uses of energy, uh, p uh, nuclear energy, mm -hmm. Sa iba't ibang sectors, okay. meron kaming applications sa agriculture, mm -hmm. sa health, uh, environment. And uh, very important, we ensure that it will be used uh, safely. safely. So uh, we regulate and we issue the license to the qualified users. Ano na yung mga naging notable projects ng PNRI? Uh, in the area of uh, agriculture, okay. um, Yung una is uh, mm -hmm. on uh, mutation breeding. Uh, nung uh, uh, mga 1970s, we have yung tinatawag namin on atomic rice. Okay. Uh, uh, so, mabilis? Mabilis yung... Uh, Pagdami. Uh, ano Pag-produce? Yung, uh, yung maturity niya, mm -hmm. uh, say from four months naging three months, uh, dumami din yung yield. Okay. Uh, and uh, right now, uh, ang, uh, what I would like to share with our uh, viewers is mm -hmm. our new product, the plant growth uh, promoter. And um, paano namin ito nakuha? We irrigate Karajinan. Okay. Karajinan okay. is a major product of the Philippines. Yes. Um, and uh, we use gamma radiation or ionizing radiation to chop it off into mm -hmm. small pieces so that the plant can uh, absorb it uh, more easily. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. At uh, ang uh, uh, resulta ngayon with the farmers, uh, na-increase yung kanilang yield uh, by 30 to 60 percent. Yes. And uh, plus, na they can reduce their inputs of fertilizer, mm -hmm. uh, but still getting the, the yield. And uh, this has been launched and uh, distributed to the farmers early this year. And we plan to uh, produce more of this so that we can reach as many farmers as we can. So as of the moment, gano nakalaki yung porsyento na nagkaroon ng uh, gantong uh, beneficyo ang mga magsasaka? Well, kasi uh, na-launch lang uh, noong January, so uh, siguro mga 10,000 hectares pa lang ang mm -hmm. uh, re-reach namin. Uh, but we plan to reach as many as 37,000 hectares or even more. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, ang testimonial ng mga farmers ay maganda uh, yung uh, resulta at saka uh, we can say na affordable, mura yung uh, produkto. Ayun. Yung isa pang uh, project namin against agriculture, um, we want to find out kung how much of the fertilizer is being absorbed by the plant, how much water is needed by the plant. Uh, by using nuclear at saka related uh, isotope techniques. At uh, ginagawa namin ito sa rice, sa coffee, at saka sa sugar cane. Mm -hmm. At maganda yung lumalabas na resulta, ang, uh, ang susunod na uh, hurdle dyan is how to convince the farmers to change their Siyempre, na farming nila. practices. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, halimbawa, naglalagay sila ng ganito karaming fertilizer, dapat makumbinsis sila na even if they use less, mm -hmm. uh, ganun pa rin ang kanilang uh, mm -hmm. makukuha. Okay, so sa studies ninyo about nuclear, talagang 
ano to eh, masabi natin na parang delikado talaga, di ba ma'am? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, uh, mayroong kaakibat na risk in terms of using uh, a radioactive material. Yes. Uh, kaya nga, hindi namin ito ginagamit sa lahat. Uh, mm-hmm. We use this only kung mayroong comparative advantage over the conventional techniques. Mm-hmm. Dahil, uh, as I said, mayroong siyang safety factor. Okay, yes. Uh, but we assure that uh, with our uh, regulations, mayroong kaming code of PNRI regulations uh, na dapat i-comply ng mga users. For example, sa hospitals, uh, at uh, radioactive materials are being used in the hospitals to uh, diagnose diseases. Uh, ito yung sa nuclear medicine. Mm. Uh, ipapakita ng radio tracer na kinuha ng pasyente kung uh, ano ba yung state of health of the heart. Okay or yung liver or other organs that you cannot see uh, from outside. Uh, and uh, so, madadiagnose ng doctor kung ano yung uh, merong sakit mm-hmm. yung pasyente. Uh, in the area of cancer, sa radiotherapy, uh, yung uh, cobalt-60 mm-hmm. uh, is being used to uh, uh, treat cancer. Um, at kung masyado nang malala o nasa... Uh, stage 4 halimbawa na uh, yung treatment ay medyo hindi na posible, then uh, we use also cobalt-60 to reduce the pain of the patient. Mm-hmm. Yung parang palliative care na lang. Okay, so yun, meron din pala talagang role ng PNRI when it comes to the health. Yes, diba? yes, oh. yes. Mm-hmm. Um, we, right now, we have a facility to uh, produce yung Technetium 99M generator. Mm-hmm. Uh, eto yung isang radioactive material na sinasabing workhorse okay. sa hospital in terms of yung diagnosis. Mm-mm-mm. And uh, we hope that uh, this will reduce the cost of the procedure mm-hmm. and make this uh, nuclear technique uh, available to as many patients okay. as can be. Mm-hmm. Uh, so in the area of environment, if I may add, yes, uh, marami din kaming ginagawa sa environment where we use radioactive material or stable isotopes as a tracer. Um, yung, yung isa is that uh, we traced yung pollutants in the Pampanga River Basin. Mm-hmm. Uh, this uh, river uh, goes to Manila Bay and carries with it all sorts of pollutants. And uh, with the use of uh, nuclear techniques and stable isotopes, we, will, we know how much of the pollutants at saka yung source of the pollutants. Nanggagaling ba ito sa agricultural uh, activities yeah. o nanggagaling sa industrial mm-hmm. activities? Mm-hmm. Um, kasi itong mga pollutants na ito, meron silang specific signatures that we can trace. So, masasabi namin na oh, yung say 30% is coming from agriculture or 50% coming from industries. So, from that point, Paano nyo pinararating yung information? Uh, Bawa, ito na, ito na, na examine namin. Oo. Oh, oh. uh, ang kasama na, ang funding agency dito is the DNR. Okay. And the DNR will also be the user. Mm-hmm. So, kung ano man yung data namin, ibibigay namin sa DNR. Mm-hmm. Uh, ganito din ang nangyari sa air pollution. We use nuclear techniques to uh, uh, determine uh, what kind of pollutants mm-hmm. are there in, in Metro Manila and what are the sources. And uh, yung data namin, ginamit ang DNR to, uh, uh, as one of the references to establish yung guideline uh, on PM 2.5. Ito yung uh, particles in the air that will uh, affect your health. Mm-hmm. So, kailangan uh, merong guidelines ang DNR uh, in order to protect the public. And ito uh, ginamit nila yung aming data. Mm-hmm. It's an 11 or 10 years uh, data on air pollution in Metro Manila. And oh. uh, so, merong uh, kaagad uh, uh, end action. user mm-hmm. action uh, mm-hmm. that will use the data. Uh, mm-hmm. This is in addition also to publishing our uh, papers okay. uh, in mm-hmm. journals. Mm-hmm. Compared sa other Asian nations, gano'n nakalayo or how far are we when it comes to nuclear science? Um, 
doon sa mga equipment or facilities that we have, I can say that we are at par with our ASEAN, mm -hmm. uh, ASEAN uh, uh, countries. countries. Um, in the area of research reactor, um, in, in the past, uh, when uh, nuclear science was very new in the area, we, our research reactor became the training facility for nuclear engineers and nuclear scientists in the uh, Asian region. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, however, now our research reactor is uh, shut down, uh, so we are not doing much in that application of nuclear energy. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, we are um, trying to solve the situation with a feasibility mm -hmm. study to set up a new research mm -hmm. reactor. Mm -hmm. So this is now being funded by NEDA this year and uh, hopefully uh, in the coming years we may be able to uh, uh, have a new reactor and again uh, resume activities that uh, use neutrons from the research reactor. Beyond. Are we receiving uh, support from any other nuclear powered countries? Oh yes, as a member of the IAEA, uh, we are a very active uh, member state uh, and we contribute our expertise as well as get expertise okay. from the other mm -hmm. member states. And uh, I think it is a very mm -hmm. good uh, synergistic relationship among the member states. Ayun, syempre, di ba alam natin, ibang bansa, South Korea, North Korea, mm -hmm. very active ang kanilang uh, pag-aaral mm -hmm. in terms to nuclear, di ba? Yes, so, yes. kaya din natin makapagsabayin or in any case na meron silang activities, minamonitor din talaga natin yun. Uh, yeah, Jel, uh, we participate in uh, many of the activities of the IAEA mm -hmm. and uh, so upang hindi naman tayo nalalayo at least mm -hmm. doon sa mga uh, current status of uh, the use, for example, of a research reactor. So uh, we do this through our collaboration mm -hmm. with other uh, member states of the IAEA. Kayo ma'am, syempre, di ba talagang kayo nakatutok dito bilang director mm -hmm. ng PNRI. Masasabi mm -hmm. ba natin na kaya natin maging nuclear power o ang bansa natin maging nuclear power at ano ang magiging potensya nito? Uh, Yung nuclear power, you mean uh, the capability yes. to set up a nuclear power yeah. plant? Uh, uh, we have shown that before. Mm -hmm. In the 70s and 80s, we uh, uh, built the Philippines. Our Filipino engineers built the Bataan nuclear but, power yes, plant. Yes. Uh, but unfortunately, this was not uh, operated on. Uh, Be, but, pero ma'am, nandun pa yun, di ba? Oo, oh, nandun uh -huh. pa. Uh, but I think, I believe, uh, in the capacity of the, our engineers and scientists to be able to harness mm -mm. Uh, nuclear energy for power, mm -hmm. for uh, electricity generation. Yes. Ang gusto ko lang ipaalam sa ating mga nanonood, uh, we have to be prepared. Merong mga preparation dyan, uh, that we have to comply with so that we can say uh, uh, to the world that we are ready for nuclear power. So, pwede natin buhay ulit ang Bataan Nuclear Power Plant? Uh, <laughs> yung Bataan Nuclear Power Plant or a new build? Okay. Uh, I think kaya natin. Mm -hmm. uh, kaya ng Filipino. Ayun. Kaya yeah. natin yan, diba? Sabi natin, ito na siguro yeah. ang simula ng pagbabago. Why not, diba? Mm -hmm. Sabayan natin ng nuclear power ang mm -hmm. bansa natin. What's in store for PNRI for the next five years? Uh, I have been with PNRI uh, for a long time and mm -hmm. as a director and I have seen PNRI grow uh, in terms of uh, projects uh, and expertise. Uh, our scientists are uh, being requested by IAEA to serve mm -hmm. as experts uh, and we receive a lot also of uh, assistance from the IAEA. So uh, I, I see PNRI uh, to be um, uh, a leading uh, uh, a country at least within the ASEAN, we can compete uh, and with these two projects uh, on establishing a research reactor and an accelerator facility, I think uh, we will be able to, uh, for PNRI to realize that dream. Ayun. Sa mga students pala, nakalimutan ah, ko banggitin na yes. paano nagiging ano, involved yung mga estudyante or ah. maging open sila when it comes to nuclear. Are they uh, pwede ba silang mga gano, parang field trip ba? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, mabuti na uh -oh. nabanggit mo yan, Jel. Because we have a program 
for our uh, uh, senior uh, uh, undergraduate mm -hmm. students for an OJT. Yes. So uh, they uh, spend uh, about 240 hours in PNRI in our laboratories mm -mm. under the supervision of our scientists uh, in their own field. Mm -mm. Uh, and right now, since it is summer uh, time, um, we have about 100 or 150 students now in PNRI okay. doing uh, on-the-job training mm -hmm. uh, as far away as uh, Marawi State University and also as far north as uh, MMSU. So uh, that is one and uh, for our um, uh, thesis program, they can do also do their thesis in PNRI. And for the teachers, we have a summer course uh, dedicated to high school and college uh, teachers. Ayon. Uh, for, free, free of for charge. For free, yes. yon. Maganda, no? Tsaka, yeah. malapit lang naman ang PNRI. Any moment, pwede tayong makipag-ugnayan sa inyo, di ba? Yes, mm -hmm. of na, na Ngayon, course. simula ng pasukan, siguro, mm -hmm. time to, ano, maging aware yung public about this, di ba, ma'am? Mm -hmm. uh, you are very true. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, siguro kasi because of that uh, baggage of the atomic bomb, yes, mm -hmm. mahirap intindihin ng mga tao na mayroon palang beneficial oh, okay. uh, effects mm -hmm. or benefits. Ang yeah. nuclear. Ang nuclear. Science. Oh, oh. Yun nga, dapat oh, oh. siguro, yun, mabura din. Kahit pa yeah. ano yung isipan natin tungkol doon. Anyway, and you know, as of the moment, siguro so far, ano ng greatest achievement ng PNRI? Um, I think we, PNRI has been true mm -hmm. to the mandate uh, given uh, by the government. And this is to uh, promote the peaceful applications of nuclear energy. Ensure that... Uh, the public and the environment are protected from the harmful effects mm -hmm. of nuclear energy and also that uh, nuclear materials will only be used for peaceful purposes. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and in these uh, uh, three activities, the PNRI has uh, uh, been true uh, to its mandate and, uh, and also to the service of the Filipino people. Ayun, siyempre, ma'am, baka meron pa tayong mga nakalimutan. Pwede nating uh, invite yung ating siguro mga televiewers. Meron silang gustong iugnay sa inyo. Uh, to our uh, viewers, um, to our viewers, I would like to invite you to visit uh, PNRI. Our uh, uh, office is uh, on Commonwealth Avenue or you can go through the back gate uh, sa Central Avenue. And... Uh, uh, you can visit our facilities, uh, you can also uh, confer with our scientists uh, on uh, problems or topics that you would like uh, nuclear science and technology to be, uh, to be involved. Uh, and also for our students, um, we have, uh, uh, we organize a tour of our facilities and also we accept uh, on-the-job trainees from uh, our universities. Uh, so you are all welcome to touch base with us and uh, visit us at our website at www.pnri.dust.gov.ph. And thank you very much for this opportunity to share uh, what we are doing at PNRI. Thank you so much, Doc. Diba? Sabi natin, abangan pa natin yan na mga darating pang projects from PNRI yes, at sana magtagumpay tayo sa mga mm -hmm. uh, adhikain natin for this para sa ikunglad ng ating bansa. Ika nga. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank Ayan you. mga kaibigan, Thank you. nakasama natin Dr. Aldomanda M. De La Rosa, ang director po ng PNRI. Ayan, di ba? Nakaka-excite talaga na malaman na ang Pilipinas pala ay pwede ring sumabak sa usapin ng nuclear science. May ibubuga na ang bansa natin. And that's it mga ka-forever. Sobrang bilis ng oras. Hindi natin namalayan isang oras na pala ang dumipas. Tapos na naman ang isang episode natin. Pero syempre bukas, samahan niyo pa rin kami from 11am to 12 noon. Dito lang sa www.dostv.ph You can also visit our Instagram page, dostvph, and our Facebook page, facebook.com slash dostvph. Kaya click na at mag-login para lagi tayong magkasama. Dahil weather lang ang laging nandyan, tagaraw man o tagulan, hindi nang iiwan kahit sino ka man. Kami ang DOS TV na laging nandyan, may bagyo man, kulog o kidlat, hindi namin kayo iiwan. Dahil laging tandaan, weather is forever.